Hey guys, welcome back to the build. I've got ugly truck behind me, a 99 Silverado. I've got the 5.3 that used to be under the hood, sitting over there, kind of waiting for the trash man to come. I've got an 8.1 liter 496 cubic inch big block waiting to go under the hood. And today, that's what we're gonna try to accomplish. Now, last time I showed you some of the steps that you need to take to actually remove an LS from a truck like this and some of the reasons why you don't wanna put an LS back in, because let's face it, Honestly, guys, the LS is a little bit overdone. Every car show you go to is gonna have some sort of turbocharged LS under the hood of some kind of vehicle. Well, pretty much everything is. Now, yes, I know they're cool. You can make lots of power parts or cheap and all that good stuff, but it's just not original and I want something with more cubic inches and more torque. So that's what this whole swap is about, but I digress. Today, I'm going to show you some of the steps that it takes to actually physically mount an 8.1 in the Silverado 1500 two-wheel drive from 99 to 07. Now, some of these steps will be a little bit different if, say, you have a 2500 HD, maybe you're going from a 6.0 to an 8.1, it should be a lot easier because I believe the mounts, the frame mounts were actually an option. So again, this only really applies to two-wheel drive Silverado 1500s 99 to 07 with rack and pinion steering. I believe that's how specific the differences in the frames got. So basically it involves modifying the passenger side frame mount that's bolted or welded to the frame. We got to move that ahead about three inches. As far as I know, that's the only thing we got to do, but we'll find out if there's anything else. But either way, at the end of the day, I'm going to have that 8.1 bolted under the hood of this truck. So let's get to it. So I've got the frame mount taken off and I've already run into a couple roadblocks and I'll kind of get to that in just a second because it's not a huge deal. All the solutions already exist in the parts that I have between these two engines. So the frame mount bolts onto the frame obviously and the motor mount bolts to it and that attaches to the engine that holds everything together. I did some careful measuring on both engines using the bell housing as a reference plane and this mount is going to have to be modified and moved two and three quarters inches farther to the front. Not a big deal. The problem, however, comes with the motor mounts that attach to each engine. This is the 8.1 liter mount and it has a very similar shape and configuration where it attaches to the frame stand as the LS mounts did. So I originally thought all I'd have to do is lower the motor in and bolt it up and we'd be good to go. However, that's not the case because the 8.1 mount doesn't index perfectly onto the LS frame stands. As you can see, the middle part is raised up by about a quarter of an inch. Not only that, the bolts don't line up perfectly. So I could modify this cut and weld it, but you'd have a lot of work to do, especially considering this hole here needs to move out and down, and these guys don't line up either. So it would be kind of maybe a bit of a hack job. I don't know. You could make it work is the point, but I wouldn't be happy with it. So I removed the mount from the same side of the engine, the passenger side of the LS, and it actually looks very similar. Obviously, this is going to interface perfectly with the frame stand because, well, that's what came out of the truck. However, this will actually already bolt onto the side of the 8.1 block with three out of the four fasteners. These bottom two line up and the front one line up as well. And this guy, as you can see, is just a little bit farther frontward. I already bolted this up onto the engine and it positions the three mounting holes in pretty much exactly the same spot or the distance away from the bell housing as the stock 8.1 mounts did. So my two and three quarter inch measurement still holds true. So all I really have got to do is bolt this onto the block and then I can just add a little tab out from this upper mount and it'll bolt up using four bolts and we should be in business. So I'm going to start by modifying the frame stand.
So here's the plan that I've come up with to get the 8.1 mounted under the hood. I started by cutting the original frame mounts into three separate pieces, more or less just removing the tabs that bolt this onto the truck. Then I had to make a piece of quarter inch plate that was long enough. I didn't have a single piece that would work so I had to cut two strips and weld them together. And it is a little bit long now but I'll chop it to length when everything is said and done. Now I'll come in and I'll take the original tabs and I'll just weld them onto the bottom of this and that will allow me to slide the upper part of the mount exactly where I want it to be. Now this piece of material is a quarter inch thick so I took about a quarter of an inch out of thickness when I made this cut just so it doesn't raise anything up any extra. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt these back onto the frame so I know they line up perfectly and I'll mock everything together under the hood. Overall, that was probably one of the easier engine swap mounting things that I've had to rig up. The driver's side bolted right into place with the LS mount on the 8.1 block. The passenger side, all I had to do was build that bracket or that modified plate you saw earlier. It sits about two and three quarters inches farther forward. The transmission cross member bolted right back up exactly where it was. So the only thing I have left to do now is weld the upper and the lower part of the frame side mount together, trim off the excess, put a coat of paint on it, and it's done. You know, I will come back a little bit later on. I'll take the LS mounts back off the block and I'll modify them so that upper right hole, you know, I'll just extend it out, put a tab on there so I can have all four bolts holding it to the block. But like I said, overall, it wasn't too bad other than the million degree heat we have down here in the south, but <sighs> it's done and this is a good day.
So I finished up the passenger side motor mount by filling in the hole, grinding the welds nice and flat. We're just going to bolt up against the block and hitting it with a coat of paint to prevent rust and make it look uh, sort of good. Now, the steps that I've taken here today are specific to a Silverado or Sierra 1500 two-wheel drive with rack and pinion steering. From what I've been told and from what I've read on the internet, if you can believe that, these steps might be a little bit different if you have, say, a half-ton four-wheel drive with a steering gearbox instead of rack and pinion, or if you have a Silverado 2500 HD that could have come from the factory with an 8.1. I'm told you can actually buy the correct frame mount and you don't have to do any custom fab work at all. But anyway, they never made an 8.1 half ton, so I guess you've got to get custom. Now, in summary, here are the steps that I had to take. LS motor mounts bolted onto the 8.1 block in three out of the four original mounting locations. The fourth, you've got to modify it and move it back about an inch. I didn't get an exact measurement on this. All I did was make a template and use that, and I already checked it bolts up to the block and fits perfectly. The frame mount I had to cut and slide to the front by two and three quarters inches. If you're going to try this on your own, obviously take your own measurements just to double check, but that's what I used and everything fits great. Now, I have to repeat the same process with the LS motor mount that's on the driver's side of the block just so the fourth hole has a bolt going through it, but other than that, this 8.1 is permanently mounted under the hood of Ugly Truck and hopefully, I've got my fingers crossed, it won't have to come back out again. There are a few wiring things that I have to do next time which might be a little bit difficult to get to but I'm praying that it doesn't have to come out because it's kind of a pain just because of how big and how heavy it is but anyway that'll come at another time and if you guys haven't subscribed already please do because I've got a lot of great truck content coming for you and you don't want to miss it but until next time thanks again for watching and I'm LT